Welcome to our What is Truth Bible Study. And this week's question, Were you there when they crucified my Lord? There are events in history which will remain in our memories for most of our lifetime. Were you there when President John F. Kennedy was shot and killed during a motorcade in Dallas, Texas? Were you there when Neil Armstrong stepped on the surface of the moon and spoke the words, One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Were you there when the media reported that rock and roll superstar Elvis Presley had died suddenly? Were you there when terrorists hijacked planes and flew them into the World Trade Centers and the Pentagon? While we may not have been physically at the, these precise locations, many of us remember where we were and maybe even what we were doing when these events occurred. I can vividly recall the morning of September 11, 2001, as I was in the Northern Labrador community of Postville. I was doing business at a store when a lady came in and said she thought the world was coming to an end. She talked about planes crashing into buildings and related it to end time events as described in the Bible. Those moments are etched into my memory. Uncertain as to exactly what was happening, I thought how far away I was from my family. In 1865, an unknown composer wrote a song entitled, Were You There When They Crucified My Lord? It takes us through the story of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. Each verse asks a different question. Were you there when they nailed him to a tree? Were you there when they pierced him in the side? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when they when the stone was rolled away. The Gospels of the New Testament record the events. In John 19, 17 and 18 we read, Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, Golgotha, ere they crucified him. In John 19, 33 and 34, when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear. Mark 15 and 46 tells us, So Joseph brought some linen cloth, took down the body, wrapped it in the linen, and placed it in a tomb cut out of rock. In Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, verse 2, we read, There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone, and sat on it. Then in 28 and 6 we read the words which gave us our first Easter. He is not here, he has risen, just as he said. The Gospels also give us insight as to some of the people who witnessed firsthand these events. We know that there were soldiers, chief priests, and so-called teachers of the law who all physically took part in the crucifixion. We know there were two others who were crucified with Jesus. We also read there were many followers of Jesus who stood close by. In John 19, 25 and 26, we read that his mother, his mother's sister, and Mary Magdalene were there along with one of his disciples, believed to be John. But our question is, were you there? Of course, none of us alive today were there physically, as this event occurred about 2,000 years ago. But do you know that in the mind of Jesus, we were all there? As Jesus died on the cross, he looked ahead in time and knew each one of us. While he died for those alive on that day, he also died for all who came before him and all who would be born after, including me and you. He knew that many years later, you and I would be born and we would need a savior to cover our sins. The words of a chorus summarize it well. He knew me, yet he loved me. He whose glory makes the heavens shine. So unworthy of such mercy, when he was on the cross, I was on his mind. We pray that this Easter season you will experience God's presence and accept the sacrifice he made for you. For yes, you were there when they crucified my Lord.